I'm just ready to unwind. Grand rising to divine. Maria. <clears throat> Maria. Rising rituals. Transform like the prime. Number 369. Oh my God. Digital. Matrix. And we running out of time. So, grand risings, many blessings, true love to y'all in this solstice. Yo, I want to share with y'all. Everyone's talking about and being aware of this winter solstice that happened every year. There's a fall solstice a, or a spring equinox, winter solstice, all of these things where the planets outside of us align with the planets inside of us that makes us a little trippy. But this one is a little different. It's really listening to you. So you really got to be, know you. Be grateful for what you have. The moment you feel like being ungrateful, ungrateful for what you have, is the moment you fall out of the grace of this now moment. Let's stop and breathe. Three seconds in. Hold it. Hold it. Let's stop in tone. Oh, my body may home. Oh, oh, and lastly. Let's just be silent and look at yourself. How amazing you are. You're beautiful. You're wonderfully made. In the image of the creator of all things, this too shall pass. No weapon formed against us will prosper. This is the last year of suffering. The world is going to the creator. So I'm a prophet in my prime. Do you know how to engage and treat a prophet? Next, positive affirmations reinforce the atmosphere. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ramna, Hare Ramna. Ramna Ramna, Hare Hare. Positive energy activates cellular evolution. The world is in need of an evolution. No more time for confusion. It's okay. I got the solution. I am the potion, you gotta be the truth. I am the energy and motion, you gotta be the proof. I allow the divine light of the spirit into my life. I am spiritually connected to our soul's ice. I feel secure knowing that I am protected by the divine. My spiritual energy transcends me into bliss and positivity. I am immersed in divine love. I am full of divine wisdom. I am compassionate towards myself and all spiritual beings. I am calm, passionate towards myself and all spiritual beings. I am surrounded by the infinite cosmic energy. My intuition guides me towards the best opportunities. I am confident in my true life's purpose. I know that this life is worth it. And today, 1221, 12 and 21, that's 3 and 3, plus 4, that's 7. Hmm. We got a 7 day for y'all. I love my OGs like numerology, astrology, theologies, feeling all inside of me. Reflection, rest, health, vacations. It is time to rest today. God rested on the 7th day, and this is your 7th day. 
Become quiet and receptive. Think about yourself and your station in life. Analyze your goals, projects and relationships. Spend time by yourself and listen to your inner promptings. Write down your thoughts. You can be inspired by your dreams, visions, intuitions now. Therefore, any writings you produce can be creatively moving. Use the energies of this period for mental exercise and discipline. Now you can master technical skills to aid your profession or benefit from philosophical and metaphysical dis- disciplines, including religion, yoga, transcendental meditation, astrology, and numerology. I love my OGs because they inside of me. Original God, original gangster, original theology. It's okay. I'm just the same old me. Shining so bright. Halo C. Understand that you know me. Same Jenny from the block. Shake my ass, you be. You shake your ass for the cash. Drop it low for the vine. Understand that time is an illusion in the mind. So I stop and breathe. It's always ever now. 24 hours in a day. So how does that sound? 1,440 minutes anyway, 4 and 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9, that's new beginnings. So every minute by minute and moment by moment, I feel the in-between spaces for you to take over. Don't push your financial fears under 7. This is not a time to be impulsive or concerned with your business. <laughs> Save that for tomorrow. It is a time of physical completion and attainment in the cycles Ooh, we haven't been asleep yet, by the way. We are rocking off of energy for the past several days. I had to make sure I didn't miss my prayer call. It is time of physical completion and attainment in the cycles because you can see the consequences of your previous efforts. Matters mysteriously complete themselves without any effort on your part. Wait and let the cycle work for you. The number seven rules the physical body and the body functions. Therefore, the forces within your body are now active. You must pace yourself wisely, rest, and take care of minor problems. Abuse and overexertion can bring on physical maladies and illness. These discomforts force you to slow down so that you will take your time to reflect upon yourself and your purpose in life, your dharma. Which in the most, which is the most important reason for this cycle. Vacations are always pleasant, and now is a good time to take one. Be careful when signing any documents or legal agreements. Check every word and look for loopholes. When you have thoroughly scrutinized all aspects, sign with confidence. You will not feel the need to socialize at this time. Rather, you prefer either to be alone or to be with people of spiritual nature. I always want to be with people of spiritual nature or with my ancestors. Who compliment and uplift your contemplative mood. Do not fight your inner urgings to rest. Take some naps. Chill. Don't let the world rush you. Don't let the world rush you. For that will only bring on physical problems and frustration. Instead, flow with this and look deep within yourself to discover the beautiful facets of your true inner self the perfect jewel The God in me sees the God in you, so namaste for your perfect you. Stay blessed and favored on your travels. This is your time, but only those that can see. Peace.